This is lesson 16 and today we're going to put two letters together, two consonants that are going to make a k sound. K. Now I know we've got some new children joining us today so I'd like to say hello to Isabel uh, also to Benjamin but he's a little bit young to join in but I think I can see, do we have Thomas? Thomas are you there? Oh, he's waving. Would you like to say hello to Isabel? Uh, hi. Hi, yeah, and I think we have Tegan and Morgan. Um, and I know that Auntie Joyce is very interested to see how Isabel, Tegan and Morgan get on in this lesson. And Thomas, actually. So, Sadie, it's also for you and for Lily. So, let's get going. So, let's think. What makes a k, k, k sound? Ooh. Isabel, k, k, k. any ideas? Sadie? Oh, Thomas, what was that? Good boy, C and a K. C coming out here and the K, the kicking, some people call it curly K and kicking K, don't they? So we've got K, K, K. Now, children, don't forget, we always have a whiteboard and a pen or a paper and pencil so that we can make a list of the words and maybe the person helping you could stop the video now and say, oh, let's make a list of the words we know with that k sound in. Remember the k sound will probably be at the end or maybe in the middle. K, k, k. Hmm, Morgan, Tegan, have you got your list ready? I know you'll have your whiteboards ready. Isabel, is your handwriting still nice and neat? I know Thomas is, is. he's been practising hard. Thomas, do you have a word with k in, please? Um, sock. Sock, okay. Thomas is tidying his bedroom and he's found an odd sock. Okay, so Thomas, ooh, do you think you could spell top sock for me? Yes. Good boy, could... S-O-C-K. Good boy, S. O C K. Now, do you remember how we use our alphabet arc? Draw the letters down like I did, but always put them back in the same place. Sock. And as I had before that sentence, I found an odd sock under my bed. How many people find odd socks in their bedroom or in their house? Remember, if you wanted more than one sock, because we usually have two, we add an end S sound. I got a pair of socks. There you go, so we've got socks. Now then, here's a tricky one, and this could be maybe for Tegan, because I know she's year five. I'm taking back the S, Tegan, but I'm leaving this, uh, this front S. Taking away my vowel O, is there another vowel we could use? And can the other children be thinking to make a word? We've had sock. Oh, Thomas, could you remind the children of their vowels, please? A, E, I, O, U. Thank you. Is there another part-time vowel? Y. And Thomas, does how many sounds does Y make? Two. Good boy. So Y makes an E sound and an I sound, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm thinking now, Morgan, any idea? Have you got a new word to fit in? Sadie, what did you say? Oh, Isabel. And Lily, I think she's got one on her list. Oh, okay, I'm thinking of S-A-C. S-A-C. There were a sack of potatoes at the farm the other day. Can anybody else think of a sentence with sack in it? Have you got one there, Lily? Now, if I take away my a ah and put that back in its place, I've still got that s. Is there another vowel? Let's go through our vowels again. We've used a, we've had sack. A, e, oh, Thomas. Can you think of a word with, we've got S and we need a vowel, C-K? Sick. Sick, good boy. 
I had so many sweets, I was sick. Sick. I've actually, this wasn't on the list, but I've thought of another word. I'm just going to put a little space there. Ooh, I know when we go to Thurston or on a walk, we collect these. It's... Oh yeah, <laughs> you didn't even need a prompt, Thomas, did you? Stick. My garden is full of sticks that Thomas collects on our walks. Stick. I know it's another couple of children, Tegan and Morgan, who collect sticks. Did you have a nice time on your scooters at Auntie Joyce's, by the way? Sticks. And can I just say to Sadie and Lily, and actually to Tegan and Morgan as well, You've got a very exciting competition coming up at school over the holidays, haven't you? Yeah? Okay, sticks. So can you see by word building, we start off with that sound k and we, oh, oh gosh, is anybody, can anybody see that? What does the clock do? Let's listen. Yes, okay. Tick. But... If we change that vowel, tick, tock, says the clock. My goodness, we're doing, yeah? What did you say, Thomas? It's like rhyme, isn't it? Tick, tock, says the clock. I know one that Benjamin will know, although he's a little bit young to join in. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse, the mouse ran up the clock and Thomas, brilliant, he's just said he's thought of lock. So if you've got rhymes in your head as well, isn't it easy to word build lock? Oh, now this is a tricky one. Any year fives or year fours out there? Yeah, Lily? Uh, year fours? Somebody's got his hand up. Year four, yeah. What, yeah, what suffix ending could we add on to lock to make a new word? I'm, pardon? Good boy, Thomas. Thomas locked his cupboard after he tidied it. Good idea. We've got locked. Can anybody else think of another ending? I am the door. What am I doing? Lily, Morgan, I'm locking. Thomas, you're on form today. It must be because you know it's bank holiday and you've got a day off on Monday. I'm locking. Oh, I didn't put my eye in the right place. I N. G, I am locking the door. So remember, we could have locking or locked. Now then, let's have a quick think. Oh my goodness, we're running out of time. Oh, Thomas, um, let's think. The other day, when you were on the bouncy ball or the balance ball, you and Katie, one of you rolled off and hurt your... Do you remember? Let's put these back. Wait there. Wait there. Oh. I thought I heard, but that's not the... It wasn't your head. It's got a k sound in. It's your... What part of your body did you fall off the ball onto your... Back. Good boy, back. So I'm quickly going to put back. Okie doke, like that. Now then, anybody think we've got back... If I leave a little space, I want a consonant there to make a colour. Who's going to answer first? Back. What colour has a k but back? Wait, what are we playing? Sorry, I'm stuck. We've got back and I've left a space between the B for a colour. Mmm, with a cut oh. at the end. Colour. A colour? Mmm, tricky one. Morgan, Lily? Oh, Thomas. A colour. Mmm. A colour. It's got to end in k. Um, Let's have a think. Thomas. It's got to end in k. 
Thomas? Mm-hmm. Black. Black. Good boy. So, black. Okay. The pen was black. And in fact, there's my pen. And children, I'm sorry that is the end. But can you see how easy it is to word build? And here's a funny one for you. I'll be back soon for another lesson. Oh gosh, this is so funny, isn't it? Back. So, goodbye to everybody. Nice of Isabel to join us. Thank you, Thomas, Tegan, Morgan, Lily, Sadie. And have a lovely bank holiday weekend. See you now. Bye.